hello and welcome back to my channel Today, I'm just going to be keeping it very casual and doing a tag video. It's been like a really, really long time since I've done a tag video. So I kind of just want to do something like that. Just keep it nice and chill. Pretty casual conversation. And it's going to be the end of the year book tag. I was tagged by my best friend Maddie over at Princess of Paperback. And this just seemed like a really cool tag to do to just kind of like think about what you want to do before the end of the year. And I know it's like almost January at this point, but I still feel like this tag is relevant and it is the end of the year now so let's go for it let's see <laughs> pull up the questions okay question number one are there any books that you started this year that you need to finish there's a few <laughs> so the one book that i started last year and didn't finish yet is oh it's all the way up there uh let me get up a chair this is what happens when you're short I'm not even going to take it out of the box, but The Final Empire by Brandon Sanderson. I started this last year when I was home for Christmas, and then I just, like, wasn't in the mood for fantasy, and then I never picked it back up. I should maybe pick it up again, but it's not on my radar. I don't know. I was, like, maybe going to ready read it with Maddie. Maybe she'll convince me, but it's not on my December DVR because it's not. But maybe I'll bring it home with me for Christmas with, like, that'll be some wishful thinking on my part. I don't know. I like really, really don't want to consider that a DNF because I do really want to read that series and it is something that is like right in my like zone for books. But I just think when I started it, I wasn't in the right mood for it. So it didn't happen. And that's life. I mean, if we didn't always have more books that we wanted to read, then life would be boring because then we wouldn't want to read anything else. So like TBRs are meant to be endless. So there are endless options for reading okay the next thing that i haven't finished reading is the last book in the wicked trilogy by jennifer l armentrout i did start the one on kindle and then i my life has just been like really busy and stuff lately so haven't gotten to that one yet um it's a really cool trilogy this girl who has to hunt fey and she's like this fey hunter because the fey are evil they're from a different dimension and they're invading this dimension and the society this order of fey hunters and like how she gets involved in that there's also a love story which is what jennifer l armitrout does it's new adult so there's smut which is nice let's see so it's, it's called brave it's the third one in the trilogy i've really been enjoying the trilogy oh something else i need to do by the end of the year is really really catch up on my goodreads reviews because i've done so well writing for the last two years writing reviews for every single book that i've read I'm a little bit behind, but I need to catch up before the end of 2020. The last book that I need to finish that I'm like in the middle of reading, but I, maybe I've like put it down for longer because there are some other books that I'm reading right now that I like still like feel like I'm actively reading. Um, and that is The Girl Who Drank the Moon by Kelly Barnhill. And this one I stopped reading because it's on audio and I haven't had a chance to listen to audiobooks. So like I started it um, walking my dog and now it's just been like dark when I get home. So I haven't been the one walking the dog. But I think I need to like start incorporating it into my day, like listening to it while I'm cooking or like cleaning, stuff like that. Because I got 20% in it and it is really good. And I haven't read a middle grade in so long. So like maybe I'll, I'll find ways to incorporate it in. I used to listen on the train, but now I drive into work and I really love listening to music on my drive. So I don't want to listen to an audiobook because listening to music in the morning and the evening just makes me happy. So I don't feel like giving that up. Um, okay, so that's, that answer ended up being longer than I anticipated. You have an autumnal book to transition into the end of the year. Um, so I'm gonna turn that into a winter book because autumn is almost over because it's December now. Um, I think that this tag is originally like meant to be posted around like October, November, but I'm posting it now. So like, what's a good winter book? I can't say that I have a winter book on my TBR. I'm literally just looking at my shelves. They can't. Oh. Okay. I think this one might be on my January TBR because I actually went to the signing for this one, The Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern, and she said it's a winter book. So I just feel like reading it when it's like really cold out would work. And I know that it's gonna be a book that like 
takes time to digest like that slow winter pace so this might be like my big read of january um it's this really cool book about this guy named zachary ezra rawlings and he's searching for a door under a library and there is something to do with a bee key and a sword it's one of those like very like Oh, what's the word Co not cognitive cerebral books like it's very like plays with the edges of realities so sometimes it's almost like slippery in your mind like hard to kind of like it's beautiful but sometimes you know the rules sometimes you don't and it's kind of how the night circus work too like it kind of like plays with this sort of edge between fantasy and reality is that I don't think that's magical realism, but I don't I don't know exactly how it would be classified. I don't know. I don't know. If anyone has like more enlightenment on how exactly this book would be classified, let me know. But Erin Morgenstern at her signing said that this is a winter book, and I didn't read it last winter, but I want to read it this winter. Oh, and since I went to the signing, it's signed to me. One thing I really miss in 2020 is book signings. I used to go to so many and it's just another thing that COVID has kind of like taken from my life. I'm really upset. I really love going to hear authors talk and there have been virtual events and I do think I need to make more of a point of going to a virtual event for an author when a book that um, I'm excited about is coming out and they are speaking on. So yes, this is my winter book. Hopefully it will be read in January. Okay, is there a new release you're still waiting for? So there's two new releases that I've yet to get my hands on that I'm excited about. The first one is A Sky Before the Storm by Saba Tahir, which is the Ember in the Ashes series. I've been reading this series since like 2016, I think. So it's actually, I think, An Ember in the Ashes is one of the first books that I read when I was getting back into YA. The same thing with Red Queen. Um, so like those series just hold a special place in my heart. So I love, love, love that series. And um, I will get my hands on it soon. It just came out like last week or something like that. I just haven't purchased it yet because... I'm me, uh, um, but I will be purchasing, and I think I want to reread Reaper at the Gates because I reread Ember in the Ashes and Torch Against the Night before Reaper at the Gates. So I feel like I'm good on those stories because I read them twice. It kind of solidifies it more in my mind, but I need to reread Reaper at the Gates. So that might be something that's happening. I don't know. I just have so many reading plans and not enough time to read. <laughs> Oh, the other one is Deadly Dreams by K.J. Sutton, and this is a indie series I've really, really been adoring. It's adult fantasy romance, and that is the Fortuna Soren series about this girl who is a nightmare, aka like a magical creature that can touch you and sense your every fear and weave nightmares of your darkest fears, and she has recently gotten tangled up with a very powerful fairy, so wonderful series. The last one um, ended on a big a big cliffhanger so i need to know what happens in this one the physical book is not out yet but the ebook is so i will be getting it on my kindle and then once it physically drops i will be getting it as well what are three books that you want to read before the end of the year so i would like to finish my december dbr end of the year is very close so i don't know if i even want to say any like obviously the ones on my december tbr but Three books. Okay, so I want to finish A Court of Miss and Fury because I'm still reading that despite the fact that our live show was the Saturday. I didn't finish the book before, or I didn't finish my reread before the live show, but it was fine. We still had such a great discussion. Please check that out. That's on my channel if you're curious. We had such a great time. Um, and then I want to finish The Princess Ballad, which is the book that I'm reading right now, and maybe the sequel. We'll throw in the sequel to be ambitious. Um, but I'm kind of going slowly on my TBR, and like, that's just life. I'm really busy at work, and... That's just life. And then the third book that I want to read this year. This book was on my December TBR, The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by B.E. Schwab. This also seems like a very winter book. I do want to read this before the end of the year. And this is about a girl named Addie who makes a deal with the devil to live forever. However, everyone she ever meets will forget her. Until one day, some guy remembers her. Uh, okay, so when I was writing out this question, my answer just kind of makes me laugh. Is there a book you think could still shock you and become your favorite book of the year? And I said, no. Oh wait, I have another answer. I have another answer for number five. One book that I really wanna read before the end of the year is the first um, installment in 
the promised neverland and this is a manga i don't even know too much about it but i do know one of my new favorite k-pop groups they're called in hypen i'll link their music video down below apparently their like storyline is going to be based on this manga so like maybe i can understand what's going on in a group's storyline if i read the manga you know but then i just like saw that it was based on this manga and i just thought that was really cool so i'm getting some of the mangas for christmas and i really hope to at least start read the first one before the end of the year and I also want to read the next volume in Fiona of the Dawn, which I think I'm up to volume five. I've been reading that series slowly but surely, and I just love it so much. And I just like in general overall want to read more mangas. And that was kind of one of my goals of 2020. Kind of met it, kind of didn't, but I'm, I'm moving slowly but surely with manga. Okay, is there a book you think could still shock you and become your favorite book of the year? And when writing this question out, my answer made me giggle because I just said no. And that's because I do not think that anything can top from blood and ash by jennifer l armitrout when i read this book in september i was literally mind blown blown away like this book is my everything now it's my everything now i just don't think i don't foresee any of the books that i'm reading will be able to top this Acomath and stuff doesn't count because i read that in a different year and these are just rereads but like this book is everything to me it's about a girl named poppy and she is kept as a maiden in the kingdom aka like can't talk to anyone can't be seen obviously can't experience pleasure and then she gets this new guard that makes her question everything she's ever believed in it's just a beautiful adult fantasy romance the romance is so good but yet the fantasy elements are also really amazing and i'm i'm addicted I love the series so so much please check it out if you haven't and like my channel is just basically like a from blood and ash stand account now so that's what it is okay and the last question have you already started making reading plans for 2021 um kind of yes because there are some video ideas that i need to wrap up from 2020 that i didn't get to yet but that are coming soon and then like would have continuations in 2021 definitely want to read more fantasy romance want to read more manga and i really want to read more middle grade okay so i think like this book might be a book that i read soon um it's keepers of the lost cities by shannon messenger and like i've seen some people talking about this i've seen reagan from peru's project especially talking about this series it's a middle grade about a girl named sophie who's apparently like a an elf and it's apparently like a really good middle grade i don't read that much middle grade and i really want to start reading more of it and the reason that i purchased this book was because i saw it in the bookstore and something about holding it reminded me of like a book from my childhood that i can't name that i can't remember what it was but it just like gave me this very deep feeling of nostalgia and i just feel like i would really enjoy the series and i didn't get to it this year and so i feel like my reading plan for 2021 should be that i should get to this series so yes i mean and besides that i'm still keeping up with all the ya releases all my favorite authors i mean we have quarter silver flames in 2021 so you know all that and i'm looking forward to making beginning of the year content as well or end of the year content so i'm probably going to be i guess this is just a psa but i'm probably going to be taking a break in posting content like around from around christmas time to about a week into january because i'm going to visit my family and i would rather not stress out about book two during that time but when i'm back i'll be putting up all of the amazing beginning of the year end of the year wrap up whatever whatever content that i love to do around january time so look out for that and i think that's all for now right is this the end of this book tag i think so i mean it was a pretty quick book tag this was just fun casual way to kind of talk about where i'm at in my reading and i feel like i have some things to do because i need to finish the things that are unfinished and uh yeah um so if you like my channel, please like, comment, and subscribe. And have some fun, read some books, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.